Hey there, art historians. So today we're doing some America's art. Um, this piece right here is called the Black on Black Ceramic Vessel. It was made in the mid 20th century. We're not quite sure what year. And it was made by Julian and Maria Martinez, who were a married couple. Um, it was made in New Mexico in a Pueblo, um, native Pueblo area. And uh, it was made of blackware ceramic. So, some history on the Pueblo um, ceramics is that in Pueblo, ancient Pueblo society, um, these ceramic vases and other pots were used for utilitarian purposes. So, they were used to store food, they were used for ceremonies, um, they were used to cook. So, they were used for very practical reasons, and because of that, it was a very exact art because they had to be wa watertight. Um, they had to be able to withstand a certain amount of heat. So it was a very precise art, and it was um, hard to pull off. It was also a community form of art. So one person wouldn't just make one piece of ceramic. There were people who gathered the materials, and then there were different people who then shaped um, the ceramic out of the clay. There were people who then smoothed that, that ceramic, which was a very exact art using rocks. And then people who fired it, and then people who glazed it. So it was a very, it was a community event. And um, the public community took care of each other in this way. They made these ceramics. It was what they did. So this, um, Maria and Jill, Julian kind of mark a shift in Pueblo ceramics. And um, what ends up happening is they are working on an archaeological dig. And they find these ancient Pueblo pots that are kind of this black, have this blackness to it. And they they think it's quite interesting, so they try to recreate it. And they end up being able to recreate this black ceramic by using powdered manure on the fire when they're firing the ceramic. Um, and this put the flames out so there was no oxygen, but the heat stayed, and so it kind of, um, it darkened it. Um, and then they used uh, dark glaze and um, to design it. And they were a team, so Maria was the one who shaped it and um, got it to this, and then um, Julian was the one who um, who would glaze it and design it. And so um, Maria started to sell these pots um, as decorative pieces, and non-native Pueblos were buying these pots. And this... Um, this was partly because a railroad was built into this New Mexico Pueblo society so they could start shipping things out. And so these pots came in high demand. And Maria started signing her name on the bottom of these pots. And they actually were selling for much more money when her name was signed on them. Um, she was a very humble woman. So she helped out her neighbors by signing her name on some of their pots too. So um, not all the ones that are signed by her are actually her work. Um, but she was just trying to help out her neighbors. So this, um, these kind of pots are being sold for um, non-utilitarian uh, purposes, you know, for decorative pieces. So the focus became less on making them a precise art, making sure they're watertight, um, you know, very strong, and more on making them um, light and um, beautiful. So this particular pot has, oops, it has two different bands of design, um, two different abstract bands on here. And though they're very abstract, this is believed to be um, something about a bird coming um, in the seasons and feeding off of corn and um, all kinds of stuff. So it's, it's very, um, it has a lot of meaning to it. It's very symbolic. Another thing that's important to note is that um, this, these ceramic pieces were part of a movement that was happening in the art world between World War One and World War Two, where um, art was geometric. It had these nice symbols. Um, it meant something. And so um, it was a real shift, not only in the ceramic art world, but also in the Pueblo society of what they did with these pots pots and um, what their purpose kind of was in society. There was an appreciation for native Pueblo art, which had never been seen before in the Americas. So thanks for watching.